We are gathered together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we are commemorating the memorial of St. Therese of Child Jesus, Virgin and Doctor of the Church. In this Eucharistic celebration, let us offer this Mass for our intentions, including the intentions of the people whom we promise to pray for, most especially those who are suffering from their sickness and for all the souls in purgatory. And to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us acknowledge our sins and ask for God's mercy. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who open your kingdom to those who are humble and to little ones, lead us to follow trustingly in the little way of St. Therese, so that through her intercession we may see you eternal glory revealed through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Job. Job opened his mouth and cursed his day. Job spoke out and said, Perish the day on which I was born, the night when they said, The child is a boy. Why did I not perish at birth, come forth from the womb and expire? Or why was I not buried away, like an untimely birth, like babes that have never seen the light? Wherefore did the knees receive me? Or why did I suck at the breasts? For then I should have lain down and been tranquil. Had I slept, I should then have been at rest with kings and counselors of the earth who built where now there are ruins or the princes who have gold and fill their houses with silver. There, the wicked cease from troubling. There, the weary are at rest. Why is light given to the toilers and life to the bitter in spirit? They wait for death, and it comes not. They search for it rather than for hidden treasures. Rejoice in it exultingly, and are glad when they reach the grave, those whose path is hidden from them, and whom God has hemmed in. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let my prayer come before you, Lord. Let my prayer come before you, Lord. O Lord, my God, by day I cry out, at night I clamor in your presence. Let my prayer come before you. Incline your ear to my call for help. Let my prayer come before you, Lord. For my soul is surfeited with troubles, and my life draws near to the netherworld. I am numbered with those who go down into the pit. I am a man without strength. 
Let my prayer come before you, Lord. My couch is among the dead, like the slain who lie in the grave, whom you no remember no longer, and who are cut off from your care. Let my prayer come before you, Lord. You have plunged me into the bottom of the pit, into the dark abyss. Upon me your wrath lies heavy, and with all your billows you overwhelm me. Let my prayer come before you, Lord. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to, to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. When the days for Jesus to be taken up were fulfilled, he resolutely determined to journey to Jerusalem, and he sent messengers ahead of him. On the way, they entered a Samaritan village to prepare for his reception there. But they would not welcome him because the destination of his journey was Jerusalem. When the disciples, James and John, saw this, they asked, Lord, do you want us to call down fire from heaven to consume them? Jesus turned and rebuked them, and they journeyed to another village. My dear brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat, mga kapatid. Tayo daw po bilang mga tao, madalas ang nagiging reaction natin pag may nakagawa ng mali sa atin, ay gumanti. Or pag medyo hindi naging maganda ang pakikitungo sa atin, ang lagi natin sinasabi, ang aking attitude ay base sa kung paano, mo, kung paano nakikitungo sa akin ng tao. At yun po yung nag- nakita natin na naging reaksyon ni na de- na James and John towards the the rejection of the Samaritan sa hospitality para kay Jesus at sa kanya mga disciples. Kung titignan natin, um, iba yung mindset ni James and John sa mindset ni Jesus. Masyado ding impulsive sina James and John kasi masyado silang uh, nagpapadala sa kanilang mga emosyon. And... Dito sa Ebanghelyo, tatlong bagay po ang ipinapaalala sa atin sa bawat araw na ipinapakita rin sa atin sa katangian ng Panginoong Jesus. Na una, control our emotions. We don't have control sa emotion ng iba. Pero meron tayo ay sa ating mga sarili. And madalas doon tayo nakakalimot na hindi natin nakokontrol ang ating mga emotion base sa mga ipinapakita ang emosyon ng ibang tao sa atin. Kung kaya lang natin sanang kontrolin ang ating mga emosyon, mas madali para sa atin ang pangalagaan ng ating inner peace. Mas madali para sa atin ang magkaloob ng kapayapaan. At sa pagkakaroon po ng mabuting pagkontrol sa ating mga emotions, naandun yung pangalawang bagay na hinihingi sa atin ng Panginoon yung malawak na pangunawa. Nakita natin kung paano 
ang pinagsabihan ni Jesus si James and John towards sa naging reaction nila. Itinama ng Panginoon. Instead, pumunta na lang sila sa ibang village para magpatuloy. Kung hindi ganun kalawak ang pangunawa ni Jesus, marahil siguro pinagbigyan niya yung hiling ni James and John. Pero hindi. Dahil ipinapakita sa atin ng Panginoon na siya ay pumarito hindi para parusahan ng tao. Siya ay pumarito hindi para um, guluhin or um, papag-awayin ang maraming tao, kundi kapayapaan at pagmamahal ang kanyang ipinagkakaloob. At yun naman ang ipinakita niya sa atin, na siya ding imbitasyon sa atin. Pero magkakaroon tayo ng kapayapaan at may pagkaloob natin ang pagmamahal kung tayo ay may malawak na pangunawa. Pero maraming beses sa pagkakataon sa ating buhay na tayo ay hindi umuunawa sa sitwasyon. Hindi natin ginugustong unawain ang pinagdaraanan ng iba. Bakit? Ang madalas natin sinasabi, meron din naman akong pinagdaraanan. Pero again, mga kapatid, ang pinagdaraanan natin ay hindi naman natin kailangang ipagkalandakan sa iba. Tayo ang nakakaramdam nun. Tayo ang naghahandle. Hindi dapat tayo ang hinahandle ng mga sitwasyon natin sa buhay. Hindi tayo dapat ang kinokontrol ng mga sitwasyon natin sa buhay. Tayo ang nagkokontrol dapat dito. At doon, dapat mas inu- nilalawakan natin ang ating pangunawa. Nang sa gayon, mapalaga, mapangalagaan natin ang ating inner peace at ang ating mga emotions ay makontrol din. At pangatlo, higit sa lahat mga kapatid, gaya ng ating pagsaselebrate sa paggunita kay St. Therese, the little flower, na ang kanyang turo ay sa paggawa ng maliliit na bagay ng may malalim na pagmamahal, nagiging maayos ang lahat at nagiging Um, malaking bagay ang ating mga nagagawang maliliit at lagi naman nag-uumpisa sa maliit. Pero again, ang pangatlong paalaala sa atin ng Ibanghelyo at ni St. Therese, ng buhay ni St. Therese, yung gumawa tayo ng may pagmamahal. Bakit? Kung tayo ay may pagmamahal, ibig sabihin ang ating gagawin ay lagi nakaugat kay Kristo, lagi nakaugat sa Diyos. Lagi nakasunod sa kalooban ng Diyos. Bakit? Si Kristo ang pagmamahal. Si Kristo ang nagturo kung paano tayo magmamahal. Si Kristo ang punot dulo ng lahat ng uri ng pagmamahal na meron tayo. At kung sa maliit na bagay na ating ginagawa ay may malaking pagmamahal, mas, mala- mas magiging malaki ang impact nito sa bawat isa sa atin. Pero kung ang bawat gagawin natin ay lagi na lang nakatuon sa kung ano ang magiging epekto sa ating pagkatao, sa kung ano ang ating pwedeng makuha o sa kung anong pwedeng maging balik nito sa atin, kailanman hindi tayo masasatisfied sa gagawin natin or hindi tayo magkakaroon ng um, kusang loob na paggawa ng mga bagay na ito dahil lagi tayo naghihintay ng kapalit. Pero muli, mga kapatid, sa pang-araw-araw nating buhay, maraming pagkakataon na hindi natin kontrol ang pangyayari. Pero sana, kontrolin natin ay ang ating mga sarili, ang ating mga emosyon. Lawakan natin ang ating pangunawa at tularan natin ang buhay ni Jesus at ni St. Therese na gumagawa ng mabuti sa maliliit na bagay ng may dakilang pagmamahal upang maipakita at may paramdam ang dakilang presensya ng Panginoon sa bawat isa. Amen. Please stand. Please stand. God is patient and aware of our mysteries. Let us pray to Him to help us on the way of conversion and renewal. In every petition, our response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer.
that the Christian faithful may heed the call of faith and repentance. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer, prayer that God may give us the courage to commit ourselves to the liberation in Christ of all those imprisoned in their selfishness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer, prayer that those whose hearts are empty and cold may discover happiness in the love of God and neighbor. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer, that the sick in mind and body may have permanent healing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer, that the faithful departed may enjoy the radiant dawn of eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. God of compassion and love, hear the cries of the world trapped in suffering and sin. Through your Son who makes all good things possible, we ask you to grace, for the grace to follow him always. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer, fullness of the earth, and the work of human hands, it will become the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us spiritual gift. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. As we proclaim your wonders in St. Therese, O Lord, we humbly implore your majesty that, that as her merits were pleasing to you, so too our dutiful service may find favor in your sight through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, O mighty and eternal God, for in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ, for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so, with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
At that time, he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held this worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spreads throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy, remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead, and lead us, us not, not into temptation, temptation but, but deliver us from, from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit let us offer each other the sign of peace lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us lamb of god you take away the sins of the world Grant us peace. Please kneel.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and, and my soul shall be healed. Please stand. Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received, O Lord, kindle in us the force of that love with which St. Therese dedicated herself to you and longed to obtain your mercy for all. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord with your life. Thanks be to God. Good morning, everyone.